and three heat exhaustion rescues in just the last two days. And that's just the migrants who have been found struggling with the heat. It's the grim reality we're facing as migrants try to cross into the U.S. In these deadly conditions, one doctor doesn't see it slowing down over the summer. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips live from where two migrants were found yesterday. Rachel, what are these conditions like for those that are trying to cross into the U.S.? Well, Steph and Eric, it's extremely hot out here. I've only been standing out here for about 20 minutes. We're standing where two migrants were found yesterday, one unconscious and unable to be revived. We're not sure how long they were walking around these parts for, but any amount of time in these conditions is extremely dangerous. Heat literally rising from the ground on another triple digit day in El Paso with the sun beaming down. It's these conditions that are putting migrants in deadly situations as they try to cross into the U.S. I don't know if they appreciate how dangerous it is. I don't think the people that are organizing them to get to the border and directing them across the border give them any idea about what they're facing. Dr. Michelson telling me they usually aren't wearing light and cool clothing, don't have anything covering their heads and no access to water. All of these are setups for disaster. According to a Border Patrol official, since October 1st, 2020 until June 11th, 2021, Border Patrol have performed 167 rescues in El Paso. Now, not all of these are related to heat exhaustion, but this week alone, we've seen three rescues. Two female migrants were recovered in Santa Teresa Wednesday. One of the women was unconscious from heat exhaustion. About five miles away, two more migrants were found Thursday. One died after being found unconscious and was unable to be revived. While eight other migrants were found Thursday near the Afton Railroad crossing. That's close to the Santa Teresa border station. Two of those migrants had to be flown to UMC due to heat exhaustion. However, they are now in stable condition. This is about where those eight migrants were found Thursday. They told border officials that they were without food and water and walking through the desert for several days. Dr. Michelson telling me he's not surprised that two of them had to be treated for heat exhaustion. I wish there was a way to get the message out to explain to them the severe risk that they're taking. They're mostly worried about being apprehended. Uh, they should be most worried about succumbing to heat illness or heat stroke or dying in the desert. Now, it's important to remember that we're only just getting into the start of summer. Unfortunately, Dr. Michelson expects that we'll see a lot more of these disasters as migrants try to cross into the U.S. in these challenging conditions. Reporting live from Sunland Park, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.